You know, I know that subathons and things are super popular, but one, I don't think that, I don't think that they're particularly healthy for content creators' mental. And then the other thing is that I don't know if that's my kind of content anymore, you know? One of the things that I've been noticing a lot, oh God, I didn't, I didn't know if I was going to have this discussion today, but like, so th there, are, there are a lot of people here today that I would like to have this discussion with anyway, so maybe we'll just have this discussion. Ah, oh, okay, hold on. So I've been having this feeling ultimately for sort of a long time, um, but it's, it, it, it's getting more nuanced. And as it gets more nuanced, I, I've been thinking about it more and more. This idea that the reason that I play Jackbox on stream is because I, one of some of my favorite memories as a kid were playing board games with my parents. I love it. I think it's really special. And playing Jackbox with y'all on stream helps to sort of like bring back that feeling. You know, and, and it's the sort of feeling that I hope that I can sort of share with y'all. Yeah, like playing, so so over vi over vacation, Pyro and I and Colin and Liza, which are a couple more of my friends, um, we all played Hanabi. Um, and, and, and it's this really fun, cool card game. And it's amazing. I love it. It makes me so happy. And at the same time, as a content creator... The kind of content that I create, I feel like there's this disconnect between the sort of like intellectual content that I create and the, the gaming content that I create. And there's nothing wrong with that necessarily. You know, a content creator can be three-dimensional and multifaceted. You know, I don't need to just be one thing. But at the same time, all of the sort of content creators that inspire me don't really, you know, don't really play Jackbox. And I get, I get this, I get this vibe from a lot of, a lot of content creators that I really sort of admire and respect that Jackbox is sort of like, I don't know, there's something about Jackbox in the streaming community that is viewed as sort of like, uh, I, I, uh, like a crutch or like a, or like a gaff. And, and the other thing is that there aren't, there aren't, there aren't many Jackbox streamers that I really have a lot of respect for or admire or like think do really amazing content. And so then to sort of flush that out, and I'm sorry that this isn't a very cohesive talk, I'm sort of thinking out loud. And if, if y'all, if I, I hope that I don't offend anyone or hurt anyone's feelings or scare anyone by talking about this, but I wanted to talk about it. Um, and so then on the other side of that, there's content creators like Dr. K that they come on, I think about three days a week and they do two hours of intentional content. So they, they might do, they might do a tech talk not a tech talk, but, you know, they might do an informative talk for for an hour or two, and then they might answer questions and, and, you know, discuss a little bit for another hour or so. They do two or three hours of that, and then they're done. And that's sort of what they do two or three days a week. And there's a part of me that really likes that, that really likes that idea. I've tried doing that before where I became just sort of like just a just chatting streamer and I couldn't I couldn't sustain it. I couldn't carry it. Um, I, I quickly sort of ran out of things to talk about. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if you all have any thoughts about that or if this is just something that I need to continue to, to sort of work out for myself. But I would love y'all's input because I know that a lot of people here really love playing Jackbox and I really love playing Jackbox too. And at the same time, like, the, the, the fact that I feel like there's sort of, th this is, this is my ego talking and I'm aware of it, but the fact that a lot of content creators that I admire, I feel like don't really have a lot of respect for Jackbox bothers me a little bit. And the fact that I don't have a lot of respect for, for a lot of Jackbox streamers. There are some that I really admire, like Rainbow Paint. Rainbow Paint, I think is a, is a really amazing content creator that does really, um, important stuff. Um... 
but but for the most part, I, I don't have a lot of respect for Jackbox creators. What would you do if you didn't do as much Jackbox? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, the sort of dream, the sort of the sort of like fantasy in my mind is that it would be is that it would be intentional content for for like two to three hours every stream of you know informative talks and discussions. Um, like I would have I would have other content creators on and and we would talk about uh, not just content creators, but I would have other people on and and we would talk about stuff because that's that's my that's my shirt you know that's that's what I love. Um, there, there's the, there's the idea that we could even do like tantras on stream instead of, um, instead of recording them offline for YouTube, we could, we could have the tantras on stream. Um, and like, I would just, I would just mute alerts and everything. And then we could have a discussion after the tantra. Um, so I don't know. I think when someone isn't following their creativity, it shows in the product. If you want to do intentional content, you should. Think when someone isn't following their creativity, it shows in the product. If you want to do intentional content, you should. I I do intentional content. So one of the issues, one of the issues, Worm, is that I genuinely enjoy playing Jackbox. And I think that a lot of people genuinely enjoy playing Jackbox. And I also genuinely enjoy, um, creating intentional content and I do both. And at the same time, the the sort of the, there there's this there, there's this thing that keeps popping up in my mind and it might just be ego. It might just be my ego feeling um feeling frail in some way of like oh, you know, this isn't this isn't a this isn't a respectable game. And like ultimately I should ultimately I should like just sort of sit with that and and re come come to understand like why I I I need to feel like I need to be playing a respectable game on on stream a, a a game that other content creators are going to sort of like admire and respect um and sort of come to terms with why I feel that way and that's very possible and at the same time I I feel like there might be some some something more to it not doubting you, but do you think you could get enough content to do two to three hours twice a week? Yeah, exactly, Pyro. Exactly. That's that's another piece of the puzzle, for sure. Almost like a podcast, so to speak. Yeah, Alyssa. And one of the things that I do think that this would help a lot with is collabs. Because I think that one of my big weaknesses as a content creator is that I don't collaborate with other content creators nearly enough. I think that I sort of exist as an island. Like Rainbow Paint is actually phenomenal at collaborating with people all the time. Rainbow Paint is always connecting with with other content creators. And somehow I feel like I sort of, uh, content creators sort of don't feel, either don't want to or don't feel comfortable reaching out to me about collaborating because, because I, I the, the, the way that I create content is, is sort of, yeah, like an island. And if I had to come up with two to three hours of content every, twice a week, then it would be a lot easier if I had somebody to sit down and talk with, you know? And so if every week I had like, if you know, if Saturdays were for intentional content and Sundays were for, you know, uh, discussions or something, I don't know. I enjoy the mix of games, chatting, discussion. I enjoy more discussion slash interaction. Yeah, and I enjoy that too. And I don't know what it is. Maybe have one of the two days or every other weekend doing Jackbox and more intentional content the rest of the time. Yeah, and I don't know. I, I really I really don't want this to... The, the, the way that I... How do I say this? I don't want this discussion to be like, oh, tech doesn't want to play Jackbox anymore. Because I don't think that that's what it is. I think that I'm more trying to sort of tussle with this feeling that's coming up for me and wanted to sort of get y'all's feedback on it about like, I don't know, maybe how y'all feel about Jackbox. I know that a lot of you really enjoy Jackbox, but I know that there's also some of you here that don't. And so sort of like how y'all feel about the Jackbox content here and sort of what purpose it serves in terms of, because ultimately, like I've said many a time before, the number one reason that I'm here, the number one reason that I do these streams and create content is to provide value for y'all. And so in terms of that mission, I'm curious how Jackbox sort of serves that mission. 
I love Jackbox, but I also love these in-depth discussions. Thanks, Rachel. I was going to also suggest maybe collabing with artists to do art streams plus art lessons while getting live feedback and an answering people's questions about art. So how would that work, Pyro? I th you know what I think would be really interesting, Pyro, is if um, when I hire artists that are also content creators, I think it'd be... I don't know how many artists I could actually do this with, but this sounds like a fun idea that that maybe you and I could do at some point, Pyro, where if I commissioned you for a piece of art, I could commission you, and then I could say, okay, I only want you to do this art on stream. And then we could have like a series where we collaborate and you do the art live on stream as we sort of discuss the the concepts and ideas. I don't really care about Jackbox. I'm definitely here for you. But Jack Jackbox is definitely funny sometimes, though. Yeah, and I don't know. I feel like the Jackbox community... God, there's so, many, there's so many facets to this. So I feel like the Jackbox community is a community that sort of shows up for Jackbox, which makes sense because they're the Jackbox community. And not to say that obviously I have I have met and found a, a whole bunch of people that are um, you know great people and that that are are loyal and stick around and 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 are here for me. But I do I do and and I I, I don't know how much of this is sort of. Um, the nature of content creation and how much of it is what I'm about to talk about. But I do feel this, like, I do feel this feeling that as people, that, that, that people find this place and they get value out of it and then eventually they sort of graduate, you know? And I, I'm actually really happy about that. I love that people graduate. And at the same time, like, in terms of growth... I don't know how content creators grow. It, it almost seems like I'm, it almost seems like I need to sort of indoctrinate people faster so that the, the like, as people graduate, more people are coming in because what, what, what ends up happening right now is like, I'm at, I'm at one level, right? And I'll sort of rise up over time and then people graduate. And so then I sort of drop back down to the same level and then, you know, I sort of rise up and then people graduate and I drop back down to the same level. And so somehow it seems as though I need to indoctrinate more people than are graduating. And it seems to be the opposite right now. And I don't know how to reverse that ratio. Again, I'm so, I, I hope it's okay that I'm sort of thinking out loud with y'all right now. Or is this okay? Retention is the hardest. And what's interesting is that I actually have really amazing retention. And I know this because people that are far smarter than me, uh, namely Simple Zombie, um, have told me that my retention is insane. Like, I have people in my community that were here six years ago back on Snake Tech, you know? And they're still here in this community. And that's amazing. And... There's, I, I just feel like there, there's, I, I feel like I'm missing something. Xylo girl, hello. Does graduation come with a party and money again? Because I could use that. Xylo girl, I wish. I, I, I wish that I could do that for my community. I, I would love to do that. Um, but, um, in my experience, the way that, the way that graduation happens is... Someone will come into this community that is really struggling in some way. And th again, this I might be giving myself too much credit. But from what people have expressed to me, I don't think so. Um, through, through the sort of work that we do in this community, both actively and passively, they sort of come to round out their life a lot. And so then what ends up happening is they sort of go off and they live their life. Um, and like g genuinely, I am deeply, deeply happy that that happens. Yeah. I can do this. Yeah. Anyway, so just, uh, just something to, just something to think about. 
I feel like networking with other content creators is going to be the best way to pull new people in, continuing to do what you're doing and get people who talk about you and the work you do to keep it consistently busy. Yeah. And so I, I guess, I guess like in terms of, you know, New Year's resolutions or whatever, I guess doing way more collabs, like maybe like, you know, I, at one point I was trying to do like a collab a month. Maybe I could do, maybe I could, maybe I could do uh, work to do like a collab a week or a collab, a, a collab every other week or something like that. That is literally how I got any art following for my art, how I got any following for my art. Check out Mel Create. She does art stuff and she's been doing a pimp my stream. Aw, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. And, and, and then there's a whole other part of me that says, you know, I really, I really love my community and it's cozy and we have great discussions like this. And we can just we can just do what we do, but I, I there there's there's some little there's some little ambitious freak in there that that wants to continue to improve, and I think that I think that collaboration is something that I need to improve on, and so maybe maybe the sort of conclusion to this con. Thank you all for working through that. This is like a research stream. We're, we're like researching my mind to figure out, to figure out a concept. Maybe the conclusion to this conversation is not that I need to get away from Jackbox or that I need to, or that, you know, Jackbox isn't respectable or something, but just rather I need to sort of open up and branch out in terms of connecting with others and sort of actively reach out to others m more to do collabs. Collab with other Jackbox streamers and do like a Jackbox competition. Yeah, I should collab with other Jackbox streamers. The thing is, Zylo Girl, that I, <laughs> I, it's hard for me to find other Jackbox streamers that I like. I really like Rainbow Paint a lot, but a lot of Jackbox streamers I, 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 don't, I don't vibe with very well. This reminds me of the advice you always give about diets. It's not about taking stuff out, but rather adding stuff in. Adding two Jackbox could definitely open new windows. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Damn. Alyssa. Dropping the knowledge bomb. Dang. Throwing my words back in my mouth. Dang. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Dang. Well, fine. Yeah, that's good advice right there. Dang. That's really good advice. Good job, Alyssa. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> that was really good. You got me. You got me. Wow. I'm just gonna... Got him. All right. Well played. Hold on, let's just get some... Uh, well played. You're a lot different from other Jackbox streamers and I like it. Yeah, CPAL. I, that's how I feel. That's something that I was talking about yesterday. CPAL, I don't know if you were here for it, but I had this experience. It was a really weird experience. So my wife and I went to see My Neighbor Totoro in theaters and it was incredible, right? And after the movie, I went into the bathroom and I, I went pee and then I came out and I was standing in front of the mirror and I was washing my hands and there were people walking by me as I was doing that. And as I, as I looked in the mirror and I saw myself and then I saw everyone else sort of walking behind me, I felt the, 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 the only way that I found that feels right in terms of how to describe it is that I felt like my aura was very different from everyone else's aura. That like, and I, I, I don't, I, I'm not like a, I'm not like a, a spirituality aura guy necessarily, but, but that was the only way that I could sort of think to describe it. That I felt like I sort of like resonated 
on a different level than not like higher or lower, like better or worse. Yeah, so I just felt like I was sort of like resonating on a different level than than everyone else. And I don't and I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means, but it se it seems to it seems to tie in with seems to tie in with like what we're talking about in some way to me anyway so this has been fun I I, I hope I hope I hope y'all have had fun in terms of uh, this random discussion